Hi, Georgetown. This is Pastor Andy from New Life Church. It's good to be with you again. Uh, a couple weeks ago, I was up your way and spent uh, a Sunday with you. So I wanted to bring greetings again from everyone here in spring in New Life Church. Um, what we prepared for you is a series of videos and testimonies. Um, when I was with you guys, people were asking, so what, what actually happened with the families? And so we have uh, just a few stories we're going to share with you as well as a newsletter. Uh, but it's our way of saying thank you for all that you've done um, with praying for us and uh, supporting us and filling those trucks. And uh, we are eternally grateful. We've just seen God move in so many ways through you. So we wanted to give you a taste of um, just the stories behind that, what was going on. And I hope you enjoy uh, these videos. Hello, Georgetown. I'm Mary Domite. I'm a deacon at New Life Church in Spring, Texas, which is about 20 miles north of Houston. As you all know, we have been very much involved in the work of a storm called Harvey. It took us by surprise at what it did to us and what it, the devastation that it put all over this area. I was not personally affected. Only a lot of rain, no flooding, never even lost power. But God didn't let that stay like that. He drew me into the devastation by helping people who were devastated. I helped with uh, dispersing all the wonderful gifts that you have bestowed upon the people of Houston. And Andy said to tell you where I saw the hand of God. The hand of God reached down to Houston, Texas from Michigan, and that was you doing that. And I will be eternally grateful for the things that you did, showing the love of God to all of the people down here. And the miracles that came out of this hurricane, you want to say that God allowed it to happen so that his glory could shine above all. And I truly believe that that a devastation like this brought out the best in people. It didn't bring out the worst. And like somebody said on the news the other day, you didn't see a lot of looting and, and fighting and, and people stealing from one another in Houston. What you saw was neighbor helping neighbor, neighbor rescuing neighbor, neighbor helping each other muck out their houses, and now they're rebuilding their houses. And your part in that gave so many people hope that they didn't think they had because they didn't know how in the world they were going to rebuild and regain the strength that they needed for their families. And I wish you could have seen the tears that were shed for joy, the hugs, the love, the people that were here to pick up helping each other load their trucks and their trailers. God just shone all over the place and you helped him to do that. You actually did what God wanted you to do. So thank you, and God bless you forever and ever. Amen. My name is Jennifer Williams. Hi, guys. Stan and Rhonda Armour here. We are a gorgeous family. Hi, I'm Lee Sullivan. I'm Jennifer. And I'm Mark. My name is Demetrius Domino. Hi, my name is Jessica Jacobs. Hi, my name is Dee Dee Odom. Hi, my name is... Pastor Pablo. Greetings, Georgetown Christian Reformed Church brothers and sisters. I'm Dave Horner. I'm the pastor of Peace Community Christian Reformed Church here in West Houston. In August, we were affected by the flood um, from Hurricane Harvey and the immense rain. And we, um, my parents who live with me and my granddaughter and I um, waited out and were um, rescued by boat along the way from people that carried a rowboat out of their home to help get us because the water was so deep. We had a couple hours to evacuate. I had to persuade my parents who are 80 and 76 to leave. They didn't want to leave. Uh, in the hurricane, my, my home uh, is flooded. I lost my apartment and uh, took on damage at my mother's house. It was flooded everywhere. In one of those moments 
uh, where I made a bad mistake and all of a sudden our car was floating in the water and we just looked at each other and said, we got to get out. So we, uh, we ended up having to climb out the windows of the car and push the car through the water across the street to, uh, to a gas station. Displaced on Hurricane Harvey, we had seven pieces of water, seven feet of water in our home. Um, pretty much lost just about every day. Um, we did go back a few days later by boat, and it was over the roof. Um, we had lost everything. It was a really big mess. It wasn't just flood water. There was a sewage treatment plant not far from our house, and so the sludge of that is disgusting and foul and nasty. Uh, we, I get a call from Mary, and Mary um, told us a church um, up north was getting a truckload full of appliances and mattresses, and um, that they were coming down here to, to help us with our needs. And you know, we both got some, a queen size mattress and a refrigerator and a washer. And my parents were so overwhelmed with joy. Some brothers from uh, uh, New Life Church helping me a lot to people in, in my community. And then there, my best friend who's been putting this up or putting up with us, <laughs> however you want to look at it, <laughs> showed me this video of these people in Michigan that wanted to help. And we're working with New Life Church and Pastor Andy. And they had some items for us. Another email came out by Pastor Andy saying another truck is coming. You know, if you know somebody, um, add them to the list and you know, we'll see what we can do. And um, I reached out to my family and I said, what do you need? They sent me the list of items that they needed. And thank you guys so much because they got, they got everything they needed. Thank you so much. I cannot thank you enough. This is, it meant the world to us. I just want to say thank you to the New Life family and everyone else that was there to help us out through that transition. It was really amazing to see how people work together, come together to do his will, to just show that he is God. And I thank everyone who has been involved. I thank you for your prayers. I thank you for your generosity. And I thank God for using you. And we appreciate you very much. Thank you. And I am very thankful with Every one of you made this possible. I definitely thank God, thank all of the congregation here, thank the people in Michigan very much. That's amazing, they don't even know us. That's, that's really amazing. Thank you, thank you so much. Thank you so much for, for help. Uh, your, your help for us is very important. Uh, appreciate it for, for help. Um, you are, you are a, a people of God. Uh, we can see the Holy Spirit in your life. Uh, say thank you in, in my name, in my family name, in my congregation. Thank you very much and God bless you. From all of us, we just thank you so dearly. Yeah. You're a real blessing. We really do appreciate it. Yeah. Thank sure. you so much for being a part of the recovery. Yeah, thanks a lot. And uh, I'm speaking on, I'd say, with the council here, uh, we'd all like to say thank you. Thank you. Thank thank you. Happy, Happy Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. God bless you guys. And to God be the glory. To God be the glory. Amen.